Hello fellas, Cinephiles, Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Irishman. This was directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino and a variety of others. The film really looks at Frank Sheen, played by Robert De Niro, a, a mob hitman who's recalling the possible involvement with the slaying of Jimmy Hoffa. And it really looks at his particular life, where he came from, he was a truck driver, and ultimately became part of the mob as this sort of enforcer hitman type character. And it looks at, you know, the involvement he has in particular things. It looks at the supposed idea that he may have been involved in the Jimmy Hoffa disappearance. And it sort of looks at that as he's sort of our driving force that we follow throughout the film. It starts when he's sort of in his 40s, I guess, and then it goes all the way up to all the way up to the 80s. And it looks at how he devotes so much time and energy to this particular group of men, the mob, and how he sort of does it to provide for his family. But by doing it, he neglects his family quite a bit, and they don't really want anything to do with him towards the end of his life. And one daughter in particular is very frightened of him and knows he's responsible for a lot of bad things that she doesn't really want anything to do with him. And he's sort of crushed by this. And it sort of looks at his rise within the ranks of this particular organization and the particular hits that he does. And the whole thing is really told from his point of view. So everything he tells us isn't necessary to be the truth, but it's his truth. And I kind of thought that was an interesting element that I added to this film. Look, overall, it's a solid movie. I think Scorsese is a brilliant director. I think he does a solid job with this film. I think all the performances are really great. The de-aging works pretty solidly. There are moments when De Niro's eyes and his top lip don't look quite right, but the rest of it's quite well done. They even de-age a little bit Joe Pesci a little bit as well, and the same with Al Pacino and a variety of others through the film. And in most part it worked. I think this is kind of an interesting story. If you're a fan of Scorsese, I do recommend checking this one out. You may be deterred a little bit by the length, it's three and a half hours, it's quite a long film, and it, and it spans quite a number of decades. And we get to see the world change as these characters sort of change that are inhabiting it as well. It really feels like a Scorsese film, from the way it's shot, from the music, um, to the, the particular scenes that take place within the movie. I really liked the struggle he had towards the end of his life, where he ultimately is the last one left out of all this sort of mob, but his family doesn't really want anything to do with him. And that's the, the thing that I think he regrets the most, is he regrets not being there f to support his family or not being there for his family when he should have been. And it really looks at friendship and, and, and the connection that people have. It is a huge film, like it is a big grand film that, you know, it's defining gangster film in a lot of ways. It's Scorsese returning to something that he did previous and did had great success with, with Goodfellas and Casino. I think Goodfellas is the better out of these three films, but I still thought this was solid. And it felt in a lot of ways like The Godfather. Just in certain scenes, but just the, the grandeur of it and what's happening within the film and the story it's trying to tell. Even though all the performances are fantastic, it's real, really Al Pacino, I think, who steals his film. He has this energy that he bounces along on the screen. His choices as an actor are really interesting to watch and kind of funny at moments. For a small guy, he's able to create such a larger than life character and I really like that. And I thought his performance as Jimmy Hoffa was fantastic. And he really brought, breathed new life in this film and, and created a lot of energy for the film. It's a slow moving movie. The start of it's quite slow when, when Pacino appears the film pips up a little bit and then it sort of dies down a little bit towards the end so the middle is probably my favorite part of the film it also looks at you know the assassination of jfk and robert kennedy and all that sort of stuff so it's kind of interesting history elements they look at but ultimately that's all i really liked about it. i really desperately wanted to like this a lot because i'm a huge scorsese fan i like all of his films really and i was hesitant with this because he was returning to a genre he'd done perfectly with two previous films so it was i was a bit hesitant to begin with going in and the first trailers didn't really do much for me either of getting excited about this movie but i was going to see it nonetheless because of scorsese then the last trailer i saw was quite good it showed frank sheenan as a man and and struggling with the life he lived and and the family that he neglected and it provided a much more interest in the film than i had initially but i just didn't connect with this movie. Frank Sheenan character, I never felt connected to him throughout the whole film. There are moments where you feel for him, where he has to do things he, he doesn't want to do, or he has to do things even though he knows they're bad. 
and the regret that he feels for not connect, reconnecting with his family and leaving it so long. I really felt for these moments and the relationships he had with Joe Pesci's character I thought was really good and the same with Al Pacino as well and just how he interacted in the world but I just never really felt a connection to him and th that's how I felt throughout the whole film there was nothing connected to me but for some reason I felt a bit more connected to Jimmy Hoffa and I don't know why but that just sort of became more interesting I think it was because of Pacino's performance more than anything it's overly long. I felt they could have told this story in a two hour or two and a half hour film rather than a three and a half hour film. And it just, because of the slow pace of the movie, it does take it out of you to watch because it is a little too slow and it does take its time. And like I said, it picks up in the middle, but both the start and the end are a bit slower. Like I said, it is a solid movie and it is Scorsese, so I like that aspect of it. Final thoughts. Look, this film really looks at regret and it also looks at a man becoming part of something that he really thinks he wants to be and realizing towards the end of his life the life that he lived and feeling sort of regretful for what he did not having someone to talk to about what happened all his friends in within the mob are dead towards the end of the movie and it's just him sort of having no one to talk to about his experience or what he's been through and his family don't want anything to do with him, so he sort of feels disconnected. He's sort of a lonely character towards the end of the movie. His only solace is a priest that he, can, he confides in and talks to, but even at the end of the film, he sort of has to leave him as well. So it's like, he feels all alone. Because all he has is his memories and these photos of the things he experienced. And in a lot of ways, I think it's Scorsese talking about himself in changing, you know, starting as a young man and setting out in a particular thing, becoming part of something, moving up the ranks, like, a, you know, in his directing form, I guess. Ultimately, you know, becoming an older man now and, and what he's, the stories he wants to tell. So I think it is sort of a personal film for him. I'm going to give Irishman three and a half out of five. I thought it was solid and an interesting story. The acting was good and it was kind of interesting. But like I said, I didn't enjoy this as much as I felt I wanted to. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.